okay so uh, good morning everyone so today I bring you a tutorial in mathematics uh, which will happen to be your lecture 3 in mathematics and uh, whichever book that you're using uh, this will be very helpful for you to uh, grasp and uh, make sure that you get the concept and for those of you that have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe. And if you've got a question, make sure that you text this line on WhatsApp and I'll be able to respond to you. So today I'm, I'm teaching you on rational and irrational numbers. Now I'll concentrate on rational numbers so that you'll be able to know how to deal with them. Now, what is a rational number? A rational number is a number in a decimal form whose block of digits terminates or repeats. Okay? So, for example, you have 0 0.75. Now, this one is simply a terminating decimal because we know that it is ending at this particular number. So, it's not continuing. Okay? But for the second number, when you look at it, this is 0 0.245 bars. Now, this line here simply represents that these numbers are repeating themselves such that you are going to have 245 245 245 again and again and again and again no wonder why it's called a repeating decimal now a rational number can also be expressed in the form p over q in a fraction where p and q are integers and q must not equal zero so in other words, what we're saying is this function must be continuous. This, this uh, uh, ratio, it must be continuous such that Q must not be zero because if Q becomes zero, then automatically we know that uh, this is going to be undefined. Okay, so Q must not be a zero. Now examples of rational numbers include, it can be a three over four, it can be 27 over 110, it can be 20 over 10. Now, you'll be asked questions where they will ask you to express uh, certain uh, decimals or certain numbers of this form. They will ask you to express them in the form A over B. Now, this is where a lot of people have challenges. But I'll be able to make everything easy for you and make sure that you follow me well and you grasp the concept. Okay. So, it's a short tutorial and hope you'll be able to learn something. Okay. So, now, the first question is saying, express the following in the form A over B, where A and B are integers and B must not equal zero. Now, we have the first question, the first question, which is simply 0 0.3 bars, like this. This simply means that the 3 is continuing. It will be 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Now they want us to express it in ratio form. So now, the first thing to do, you are supposed to equate your x equal to 0 0.3 bar like this. Okay? Now you need to ask yourself, what number can you multiply to this 3, 0 0.3, so that 3 is meant as a whole number? It is simply a 10 x because if you say 10 multiplied by 0 0.3 it is going to be 3 so if you make x uh, uh, equal to 10 if you make x 10 then automatically you know that you are going to have something like okay you're going to have something like uh, 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 a 3 here now since we know that this th this number is repeating itself then we're going to have another 3 here you put a bar like this so when you do this then you can now say 10x is going to equal to 3.3 bars. Then you are going to subtract this by this uh, uh, equation here. So you put your 0 0.3 bar like this. Then you know that 10x minus x is simply 9x equal to this minus this. If you subtract, this is going to be a 3. And then if you do this, you do this, you are going to find a 3 over 9. If you get your calculator, just to show you, you say 3 divided by 9, you discover that it's going to give you such things like this. This is what we want. It must give you a number such that 
that number is going to be a repeating decimal. Okay, so this just proof that what we have done here is very much correct. Though you are not allowed to use your calculator, so make sure you know what to do. We come to the second question. Now for this one, it's very easy. We know that 0 0.2, we have a bar on top here. This simply means that the numbers are repeating. So we are going to have 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Now we can use the same concept, equate this to x. So say x equal to 0 0.2. 0.24 bar like this. Now we need to ask ourselves what number can we have in order to multiply this so that we make this 24 the whole number. We have two decimal places. 1, 2. So it means that we need to have a 1 with the two zeros. Such that if we multiply this, this is going to be whole number. So automatically we know it's going to be 100 x like this. Equal to this is going to be a 24 point you repeat the decimal like this okay you're repeating the decimal then you can do this you can use the same concept you say 100x equal to this is going to be 24.24 okay repeating decimal then you can say x equal to 0 0.24 then you can subtract you are going to have something like uh this is going to be 99x 99x like this equal to this is going to be a 24 like this okay 24 if you divide this by 99 99 you will discover that you are going to have something like a 24 over 99 now if we divide this okay let's prove we say 24 divide by 99 we must get something like 0 0.24 24 24 24 24 as you can see here Listen, like this. So this is just proof that what we are doing is very much correct. Okay? Then we go to the third question. The third question. Okay? Now for the third, third question, we have 1.23. The same concept works. We are going to equate this to x. Okay? Like this. Okay? Now we know that the decimal is repeating here. Now what we are supposed to do here, we are supposed to make, find a number such that if we multiply this number, this is going to become a whole number. Now we have two decimal places, 1 and 2. So our 1 is going to have two zeros. Therefore, we can say that our 100x is going to equal to, if you multiply 100 by this, it will be 1, 2, 3. But why is the, uh, the, why is the, uh, the number repeating itself? It is repeating at 23, 23, 23, right? So you also put your 23 this side, like this. Okay? Then you can say this x equal to, this is going to be a 1.23. Then you can subtract this. Now, if you subtract this, you are going to find a 99 x equal to. Now, this is going to be a 122 over 99 over 99 you divide you are going to get 1 2 2 over a 99 like this can we prove if we are to prove this we say 122 what i'm doing is correct we are going to get a 1.232323323 have you seen like this so this shows you that what you are doing is very correct you are now expressing them in the form a over a over b okay now let me do this one which happens to be uh the fourth question okay the fourth question so this one is simply saying this one is simply saying this is question four it is saying uh 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 we have a 0 0.785 now for this one i want you to pay extra attention what are you supposed to do? The same concept is going to work. Same concept, same concept, and same concept. You are going to say that your x is going to equal to 0 0.785, like this. Now, check. The bar is repeating itself at 85 and not including 7. So you are supposed to find, first of all, a number such that 7 can become a whole number. Then these guys repeat, okay? So... We must find the number such that we can take the decimal at this particular point. 
What's that number? That number is simply 10. Because if I multiply this by 10, the decimal move by one, one position. Our aim is to take the decimal where the repeating unit is starting from. So it's here. So I'm going to say that my 10x is going to equal to 7.85 like this. Have you seen? I've taken the decimal where it is repeating from. Now I need to ask myself, how many zeros should I add to 10 so that the decimal can now move up to this particular point? We have two decimal places. So to mark that I know I need to add a 100. Okay, I need to add a, a 100. Now if I add a 100, then automatically I know that my zeros are going to be, the three of them like this, then it's going to be 1000x equal to, this is going to be 7, 8, 5 point, then 8, 5, because that is where it is repeating from. Then I'm going to subtract this to this. So I'll say 10x equal to, now this is going to be a 7.85, like this. <laughs> Okay, so now 1000x minus uh, 10x, this is going to give me a something like 990, if I'm not mistaken, 990 equal to, 990x equal to, now we know that this is 0, now this is going to be 7, this is going to be 15, okay, what is 15 minus 7, so you get something like, you get something like 8. So you are going to bring down this, it's going to be 7, then 8, okay, like this. Sorry, there's a 7 there, okay, then you're supposed to get an 8 here. So, you are going to divide both sides by 990, 990 like this, then you uh, cancel, you're going to get something like 7, 7, 8, over 9. 90 okay like this should we prove we can prove this by simply saying 770 7, 7, 7, 8 divided by 990 we must get 0 0.78585585 this simply shows that what you are doing is correct have you seen the concept so it's very simple now let me prove to you uh, uh, the last one the last one which happens to be this one Okay, so let me just put it as 5, but it's the last question. Okay, so this is simply 2.99 and a 9. We have been told that this thing is continuing like this. Now we know that 2.9999 is simply 3. So we must find a number such that it's going to be a 3 direct. Okay, now x is just equal to, x is equal to 2.9. 9, 9, and a 9 like this. Okay? Now, what then are we supposed to do? Now, we know that this is just the same as x is equal to 2.9 bars. Is it true? Yes, it is. Okay? Yes, it is. Now, we must find a number such that if we multiply this number, this decimal must move at the end there. The number is simply 10. Because if I say 10 multiplied by this number, it will be 29.9 because the 9 is the bar and it is where the numbers are repeating. So it's going to be 10x equal to 29.9 bar, like this, okay? Then from here, I can subtract my x. So I'll say 2.9 bar subtracted. If I subtract 10x minus x, I'm going to get a 9x equal to if I subtract this, I'm going to get a 27. Now, I know that 9 divided by 9 divided by 9, I know that my x is simply 3. So, I have proved to you that if you write it in this form, I can take it in a fraction form. Okay? So, this is how you are supposed to handle this question. So, uh, the, rest, the rest of the questions, I'll give it to you as, I'll give you as work work like this make sure that you send the answers on whatsapp make sure that you send the answers on whatsapp okay make sure that you send your answers on whatsapp you've seen the questions that are here the questions that are here so i have done this one i have done this i have done this i have done this i have done uh this one so you are supposed to give me this one 
you are supposed to give me this one then also do this one for me and this one so make sure that you send this on my uh, uh, uh whatsapp line which happens to be this one okay make sure that you whatsapp me the solutions and also if you have a question make sure that um make sure that you you you, you make sure that you send me the solutions uh, uh on this same line okay so our next topic will simply discussing about irrational numbers how to do irrational numbers and how to solve those questions so make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel hit the like button share to others and also make sure that you uh, make sure that you follow the youtube channel so that every video that i upload you'll be able to get it thank you so much